guys, we are on the way to Ansley's two-year checkup. Um, we have had a very, say hi. Hi. We have had a very um, relaxing morning so far. Um, I, we got up, I took care to school. Um, well, I took care to breakfast this morning before school and then we went to, I took her to school and then I came back and Ansley and I went for a walk around the neighborhood and Nathan went to work and now Ansley and I are headed to the doctor. So, um, I wanted to vlog today, um, just because it is her two year checkup. I wanted to vlog, um, you know, the doctor and things like that. So yeah, I, we are on the way to the doctor and I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. Look, take your passy out. Tell everybody you're at the doctor. Doctor. Are, are you, listen, are you going to get a shot today? Yeah. Are you happy? Are you happy about your shot? You are right now, but you won't be, will you? Mom, What? Stop. Call the doctor. Say, doctor. Doctor. Mom. What? You want to go home? Hey guys, um, we are pulling out of the doctor's office now. Um, we, oh, y'all, I'm sweating so bad because Ansley is not a fan of the doctor. She's not a fan of people touching her. She is not a fan of people looking at her. She's just really not a fan of humans. So the doctor is always a, um, an interesting trip with Ansley. We went inside and I had to fill out this, um, I had to fill out this um, autism screening um, because I felt like her speech was a little delayed. So I filled out the autism screening. There was a f only, there was like 20 questions and only about four of them um, she did or didn't do and she should. Um, so one of the things that was on the autism screening that Ansley does not do um, that they said that she should be doing is like um, coming to like won't, like trying to get our attention like saying watch this or look at this and she really doesn't do that um, the other thing that was on the autism screening that they said that she um, I can't God what was the other thing I think it was um, like plays well with others which honestly that one I answered I just put a question mark on that one you're okay yeah, she got, she, they checked her iron, so they pricked her finger, and she was not happy about that either, obviously. Um, but anyway, it plays well with others. Um, she plays well with people that she knows, but the way the question was worded was, does she play well with children her age? And she does if she knows them, but like at the doctor's office in the waiting room, this little girl came up to her, and Ansley just ran to me, like wouldn't even speak or talk to her. And so I think that's more nervousness rather than like 
not wanting to associate with other children. And so I just kind of put a question mark on that. And then we talked about that because she asked about it. And I was like, well, I said, she does interact. Like she interacts a whole bunch with her sister and she interacts a whole bunch with like people she knows. It's like, she's not going to go up to a kid and like start playing and talking to them. So I guess that was a little bit more of a misunderstanding. Like I'm not sure how to take that question rather than a straight like she doesn't do it so other than those things there was like one or two other ones that she didn't do but um, her doctor said that she wanted to see her again in about five months um, and if there was little to no improvement in her speech between now and five months that she we would talk about um, referring her to a uh, I guess like a speech therapist or something. I can't remember what she said. Um, she said we would do a referral. So I'm assuming it's a speech therapist. I'm not sure. Um, we have to take into consideration that she had tubes in May. And so she said that her speech is probably just a little delayed because she's having to catch up from all those months of not being able to hear very well. Um, but when it comes to her height and her weight, she says she's growing great. She's a little tiny little thing. She's like in the 29th percentile for her weight and the 28th for her height. So she's little, um, but I don't think they look at that. I think they focus more so on the amount of growth rather than from her last visit to this visit rather than her weight and height as a whole. So overall, she's doing really, really well. She had to get her last hip A shot, I believe. This was her last one. Um, she does not get vaccines again until she's four. So praise the Lord because the child, God bless. Anyways, we are going to go home. Um, it's 1136. We still have a while before Kara gets out of school. So we're going to go home and relax and she'll probably take a nap because it's nap time. So we're going to go home and relax and I'll talk to you guys later.